boy up in the sun, don't watch me, pick that watch me, don't watch me, yo! Today I have video footage of me making up silly, improvised, yet melodic songs with my favorite band of all time, Guster. Now I have a little bit, maybe a lot of bit of backstory about how I came to make this video and my experience after making it and my kind of breakdown about making it, my decision not to upload it for so long, that I'm going to go through first and I'm going to talk to you first. So if you just want to watch the singing part, go to this time code in the video and also check yourself, okay? I'm not going to be around forever. This is a precious thing. I'm going to be making videos for, I don't know, maybe 50 to 60 more years. That's right, I'll be vlogging at 80, alright? I'll be doing blood pressure mukbangs. That's right, in 2080, I pledge to literally eat a blood pressure machine on camera, proceed to die, then proceed to be resuscitated by none other than pop artist Jesse McCartney. Hey, anything could happen. It's the 80s. Also, I just want to say I've been making cameos lately. It's this app where you pay me to make a personalized video for you or your friends or your family or whatever. It's on cameo.com slash Drew, my toehold. And yeah, I did this for charity before, but this is kind of embarrassing. But right now, this is for literally my checking account because I need the money. No pressure. Literally, you don't have to do it. Someone else might. But yeah, I'm doing that. So basically, to start from the beginning, my life has pretty much kind of revolved around the band Guster since I was like like nine or ten the first time I heard them I literally like stopped in my tracks and I was like oh this is better than everything else like this means more to me than other music like I like this more than Gavin DeGraw which was very hard to top at the time before that I didn't want to be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately which was a Gavin DeGraw stan I saw them live for the first time, I think I was 10 or 11. I remember I had one of those calendars that you rip each day off, and I wrote on the days leading up to it, like, 10 days till Guster, 8 days till Guster. I skipped 9 because 7 ate it. <laughs> Drew! 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 Yeah! I remember I was so excited my dad drove me all the way to San Francisco. I mean, it was 90 minutes. He wasn't like that nice. And then we got to stand in the front because it was like general admission, but like if you got there early, you got to be in the front. I love that. It's like we all paid the same amount of money, but I'm better than you. Like I made it to the front. And also there was this couple next to us and we talked to them, which is something I wouldn't do today. And the guy looked like Jason Mraz and I told him that and he like took it well, which he should because it's a compliment. Am I referencing too many early 2000s like adult contemporary heartthrobs in this video? No, thank you. The the moment when they came out on stage, like, I'll always remember it, like, you're waiting months and months and they're finally there and you sat through the opening act and it was, like, interesting and kind of experimental but you were bored and they're finally walking out and you haven't been this excited since you first met your dog Jimmy who died and you miss him and you, you just loved his smiling face when you came home and you can't stop thinking about him now and you almost want to turn off the camera and not make the video anymore and just sit and meditate on Jimmy for a while. You know that moment? And I've seen them like maybe 15 times since then and it's pretty much been the best night of my life every time. Like, except for when my depression gets really bad. I know, I'm going into it. Like, there's times when nothing makes me happy and like, oh, I feel the same way in Hawaii than I did like in my bed. Like, nothing's working. Oh my God, this is heartbreaking. But like still, those harmonies though, you know? Like, I can still get turned on by that. And I don't mean it like that. I mean sexually. I mean, literally nothing besides my family has been there for me consistently like Guster has. Like, it's like having a relationship basically except they can't break up with you. Like, I could not date someone for 15 years. I'd never date someone for 15 years because eventually I would have to start farting in front of them and I already know that I do that too much. Like, I literally have this thought when I'm at home and I'm just farting by myself and like, that's kind of what you do at home. Like, you just fart while you do other things. And sometimes I'll do one, that sounds British. I just did one, sorry, I did one. Close the window, no. That'd be weird to say close the, close the window. I want you to experience this. But I'll do one and it'll be so loud and gross that I'll think if somebody heard that and they were attracted to me, they would have to stop. Relationship with a band is like a relationship except they can't break up with you and they can't ghost you. Like it would be weird if they could ghost you. Like I try to play my favorite Guster album on the Spotify app and like it just won't open for eight hours and then like eight hours later it's like, oh my God, I'm sorry I wasn't looking at my phone. I have a headache. How are you? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And I'm like, girl. 
Anyway, I got in contact with the drummer on Facebook maybe like four or five years ago and he messaged me and it literally, I cried like a goo goo Lady Gaga baby, like I couldn't help myself. I've had so many dreams about interacting with them that when it happened I felt like I was actually in a dream. By the way, speaking of dreams, I keep, why is it like when you have a dream about a gross animal it's like way more disgustingly vivid than any other dream you have? Like I keep having dreams that like bears are eating me and like their teeth are gross. And by the way, don't look that up on a stupid dream website and tell me that like I'm having trouble accepting my sexuality or something because I already know that. Anyway, about a year ago I asked them to make a video with me and very nicely they said yes and I got in touch with their people and we planned it and we did it and I was so scared. They were so nice, like so genuinely sweet to me I can't even like explain it and like I know that makes for a boring story and like it would be a much more interesting video if it was like story time my favorite band is a bunch of freaking jerks they each hit me on the head separately called me a stupid head and said your head is so stupid that's why we keep hitting it and we all need a turn didn't want to include the interview in this video completely because I'm just not a very good interviewer, I've learned. Like, I'm not a music journalist, no matter what story these glasses tell you, I'm not. Um, I'll show you little highlights, though, that kind of show the awkwardness, but also fun nature of the interview. My mouth is really dry right now. Uh, here, here, we have coffee for you. That's oh. so nice that you were willing to, <laughs> would, you, would you throw it away afterwards? Why? I don't know, do you have cold sores? <laughs> do you guys ever, another question I was thinking is, do you ever, think like, oh my god, I'm in such a good band. We have so many good songs. I can't believe this. And then we made up songs together because that's something they like to do at their concerts, so I asked them to do it with me, and they were so fun to do it with. It was, again, literally a dream I've had, so it was probably the best moment of my life, and that's not an exaggeration at all. It was so much fun. But then I came home, and I still haven't watched the video. I'm terrified. I still haven't watched the footage as of filming this and I'm going to have to afterwards to edit it together and I don't even think, I, I think I'm just gonna put the chunk of us singing in there and not even watch it and like show it to my mom and be like, is this good? It's the same problem I used to have when I used to film like collabs with people is that I, when I film a video by myself, it's just me talking on my bed or on a chair or whatever and I already remember what I did, it's whatever, I do it a few times, I'm fine with it. But when I watch myself interact with other people, I get so uncomfortable. I feel like my own dad. I'm like, oh my god, he's so scared. Like, I just want to reach out and hug him. But also at the same time, I'm like, I hate you! Why can't you talk normal? Honestly, now I'm at this terrible point where the drummer has messaged me about it and I've like ghosted him and I feel terrible. About it. And once I edit this video, I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm so sorry. Cause it got to that point where it's like, the more you don't reply, the more you're scared to reply. Cause you have to have an excuse about why you didn't reply before. And I just am, it's been a whole like anxiety filled nightmare mixed with the best thing that I've ever done and the best experience I've ever had. So it's it's been very odd. Anyway, that's the story. I'm gonna show you us singing the songs now. The happy ending is that if you're watching this right now, I uploaded the video. It took me about a year, but I finally did it and got over my fears and messaged the drummer and asked him if it was okay and I'm sorry. And I told him I'm sorry. By the time you're watching this, I literally had to sit on my couch and message the drummer. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna have to be like, I'm so sorry I haven't replied to you for nine months. Is it okay if I still upload that video? Oh my god. Um, yeah. Uh, guys, I love Guster so much. Their new album is called Look Alive. It came out this year and it's my favorite ever. Um, I love their music so much. So I hope you enjoy this. A big strong man in a far away place. Me too. Me too. I always have wished that I was bigger and could pick people. Up. I gotta see. My toe cold and guster will rule the world. Will rule the world. Finally, they will take over the world and be proud. 
president together. Back to F. <laughs> president together. President together. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, Guys, we're not joking, we're running for president. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really uh, no, we can interesting. Do better. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> I thought it was really good. I know we're not going to beat that because that was actually pretty awesome. <laughs> it was good. The president together is kind of amazing. <laughs> I like the Disney chord. It's so like, it's so like Little Mermaid. You want to try another one anyway, but that one is the keeper. That's the key. You are the lead singer. Okay. This is this your channel? <laughs> you talk about Donald Trump or politics at all? Uh, I brought it up before, but I'm not very smart with that kind of stuff. I have opinions, but they don't come from anywhere. Uh -huh. What should this song be about? First thing comes in your head, my friend. Uh oh. Donald Trump, uh oh, <laughs> Donald Trump, here he comes, what's he gonna do about Guster, uh oh, build a wall, build, build a wall, <laughs> Donald Trump is building a wall between Guster and the rest of the world, don't let Guster in, no, don't let Guster in, no, Drew's trying to get to the side with Guster, Drew's trying to get to the side, Come the robots! They break the wall down. Here come the robots, and there goes the wall. That's how they build the wall. <laughs> I thought that was really, really good. <laughs> we got one more. We got one okay, more. Yeah, that was very sprockets. It was very sprockets. It's also a reference that your yeah, audience won't know. No, I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. Oh. No, we're not there. Sorry. They say that meeting your favorite band and making a video with them will be fun. They say that meeting your favorite band and hanging out with them will make you wanna run. Is it true? And Was I'm it here to tell you guys that it's really fun, it's really great, it's really the greatest thing that's ever happened. It's really nice, it's really cool It makes me happy that I'm at my favorite band My mom will be happy for me I had fun too, Drew it was, <laughs> it was a lot of fun to meet you and to have you on our bus and to make music with you Hey, Brian, I want to tell you that I feel exactly the same way and meeting you has been one of the highlights of my life do you think we could go back into that first melody from the song, or do you think we've forgotten it by now? I think I could do something kind of close. Just give it a try, Drew! Do you try anything you can do, do it. it? They say that meeting your favorite band and hanging out with them on a tour bus will be the greatest thing in the world because you love them. Because you love them. And I'm here to tell you in the world because it makes you happy and you want to kiss a girl or a boy or a trans person or anyone or anyone you just want love in your heart love in your heart 
heart, love in your heart, love in your heart. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> Your melodies are amazing, dude. Really that's good. awesome. Yeah, really I really think you have a future as a Disney writer. Those are really, dude. <laughs> Those melodies, that one was amazing. That was really wow, good. Wow, that means a lot coming from you guys, for, for real. Um, well, thank you guys so much for making a video with me. Um, I will, you know, send it to you when I'm done with it. Um, this is it, right? It's just like going to be a 30 minute, like, Yeah, minute. it's an epic. Um, okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I, at the end of my videos, I like to say, leave me a moment. I'm very lonely. So yeah. if you guys want to